President Obama wants us to understand. President Obama, who was elected in no small part due to his staunch opposition to a war in Iraq and a promise to bring our troops home, wants us to understand why he has chosen to bomb parts of Iraq. I just want the American people to understand the nature of the threat and how we're going to deal with it. Who is informing the president before he is informing us? But I want the American people to understand how this effort will be different from the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Remember, in 1947, both the Department of Defense and the CIA were created after World War II, not to provide the president with facts, mm -hmm. but to provide the president with a basis for power projection. Commitment to American dominance, to American hegemony, to power projection, that are then, they are fueled with information that come from the CIA and the Pentagon, that are there for that purpose, for power projection, not to give simple facts or to inform. Okay. What does a victory look like here? I mean, you've talked about destroying ISIL. I honestly don't know what that means. What, what does it mean? I, I didn't bring my Webster's Dictionary with me up here. The invasion occupation exactly. we broke the country. Now, we, we, we refuse to deal with the reality that it is a Shia majority country. It but has less than 20 percent of Sunnis. So the idea to bring Sunnis in, that inclusion is going to somehow resolve this, right. is, is not going to happen. But there is another option. There is a diplomatic way forward. There Absolutely. is conflict resolution. He could be not just going to Saudi Arabia and having the regional governments who are totally dependent on us for their crisis? security. He could have Iran at the table. He could have the Syrian government at the table. These things are never said to the American public, but they're essential for conflict resolution. What the president has asked for, as the commander-in-chief, is this authority to train uh, these Syrian rebels. And frankly, we ought to give the president what he's asking for. These are rebels who kidnapped mm -hmm. Steve Sotloff and sold him to ISIS to be beheaded. Selves were responsible for beheading mm -hmm. six people that were captive. Yeah. They had know, captured them, and then they beheaded them. But we have bipartisan so, well, buy-in to arm and train To arm and train them more? I mean, this is crazy. I think the Boehner issue, obviously, Boehner and the Republicans want the U.S. to do more, not less. Yeah. So this is something they've been pushing. But remember, they were pushing it initially against Assad, now against ISIS. Mm -hmm. So people are pushing him in different directions mm -hmm. for different reasons just to get involved. There are a lot of people who want to see the U.S. involved for bigger strategic reasons.